Hello and welcome to the program Sula's Big Adventures with me, Sula. Today's episode is about something truly extraordinary, a rare luminous red nova that erupted in our neighboring galaxy, Andromeda, in October 2025. The Andromeda Galaxy, or M31, is about 2.5 million light years away, and it's the closest large galaxy to our own Milky Way. It's home to billions of stars, and now one of them just put on an incredible show. So, what is a luminous red nova? Well, unlike a typical nova, which happens when material on the surface of a white dwarf star ignites, a luminous red nova is believed to be caused by two stars merging. When they spiral into each other and finally collide, the result is a massive release of energy, and that produces a distinct red glow. And this red glow is one of the key features that sets these novae apart from other cosmic explosions. In October 2025, astronomers spotted a new bright red object in the halo of the Andromeda galaxy. This transient event was given the designation AT2025 ABAO, and it was no ordinary nova. Starting around October 17, 2025, astronomers noted its unusual color and brightness compared to typical novae. Luminous red novae are rare. They're much less common than standard novae or supernovae, and they offer a unique glimpse into stellar evolution, especially the dramatic final stages when stars collide instead of exploding violently as they do in a supernova. And what makes AT2025 ABAO even more fascinating is that we're observing it in Andromeda, our neighboring galaxy, and the largest galaxy in our local group of galaxies. This gives astronomers a chance to study the event in another galaxy and compare it to similar events in our own Milky Way galaxy. What happens is, Two stars orbiting each other gradually lose orbital energy. Eventually, they spiral inwards and merge. This merger expels material into space, and it heats up, creating that signature red glow that lasts for weeks or even months. Unlike supernovae, which is the death of a star, see my video explaining supernovae, <laughs> luminous red novae may leave behind a single merged object. So of course, when I heard about this luminous red nova, I mean, even the name is exotic, I had to see it. If you want to visually observe the current luminous red nova in the Andromeda galaxy, AT2025 ABAO, you'll need at least a six inch or 150 millimeter telescope but realistically bigger than that. It will be extremely faint. I think it's currently magnitude 14.5, so a larger aperture and dark skies will give you a much better chance of a visual observation of this rare event. You might be able to get a photo of this luminous red nova in the Andromeda galaxy, and maybe even note how AT2025 ABAO changes over time. So it's very clear, and I'm going to a dark sky site and try to see it with my 10-inch reflector. I have a very detailed star map showing how to locate it, generously given to me by someone on this channel. He also, I believe, is who told me about this rare event. And if you're watching this, thank you so much. It's not just a beautiful evening for stargazing. It's a spectacular, glorious, stupendous evening for stargazing, even though it's astronomical autumn. December the 11th, it was 75 degrees today in Northern California. 
it was a beautiful day. There's not a cloud in the sky. It's just gorgeous. I came out here to Laguna Mountain to camp. Uh, and two nights is the Jimin and Meteor Shower, which I'm going to watch, but I came early because the weather was so beautiful. And incredibly, I'm the only person here. <laughs> I mean, what more can you ask for? I mean, just take a look at that. The Pleiades in the upper right-hand corner, Origa. Oh my goodness, look at all those stars. Beautiful, beautiful stars. I have not been able to see my target yet. My target is a luminous red nova, which is when two stars collide. And Franz told me about it. It's in the Andromeda Galaxy. He gave me very good directions. And I feel confident I can find it, but I can't look at Andromeda right now because it's almost at the zenith. I don't know if y'all are aware of this, but Dobsonians are wonderful telescopes, but they have a donut hole. And when something is very close to the zenith, you just can't get there from here. So I'm waiting for it to move a little bit and then I'll look for it. <laughs> I see the luminous red nova. Thank you, Franz. Your directions were excellent. I just followed your directions. I went to NGC 206, and from there I looked for that trapezoid, and then I looked over from that dim star, and I just saw a faint smudge, but I saw it. Pretty darn neat to see two stars colliding. Pretty neat. Thank you. <laughs> What an incredible evening of stargazing. Thank you, universe. Well, I was thrilled. I was over the moon that I got to see the rare luminous red nova in Andromeda. Visually, it just appeared like a smudge and I couldn't detect any red color. It's not exciting visually, like looking at the Great Andromeda Galaxy or the Great Orion Nebula, but what a thrill to watch two stars merge. Very, very cool. Thank you again to Franz. To summarize, rare luminous red nova erupted in Andromeda Galaxy October 2025 is designated AT2025ABAO, and it shows a distinct red color, likely from a stellar merger. Events like this help astronomers study the stages of stellar evolution. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. No one knows how long this will be visible, so get out there with the biggest scope you have <laughs> to the darkest place you can go to or your camera and try to see it while you can. Dark skies forever, Sula, signing off. <laughs>